Picture yourself at the top of Mount Fuji. If you look down, you'll see a futuristic city nestled between the sprawling green tea fields. That's Toyota's $10 billion woven city. It has an innovative basket-like design that's intertwined with three types of roads, smart houses, research facilities, and an underground transport system. 360 of Toyota's best inventors live in Woven City, and they are constantly working on new technologies to assist the city's residents. Woven City is years away from becoming a reality, but today, we're giving you a sneak peek. Let's head down for a closer look. It looks like that $10,000 Toyota e-Pallet autonomous vehicle is empty, so let's hop inside and take a drive through Woven City. The first thing you'll notice is just how big the city is. It was built on 175 acres and is home to 360 inventors as well as seniors with mobility issues and families with young children. Eventually, 2,000 Toyota employees will call Woven City home and there will be people from all demographics living here including retirees, scientists and retailers. You'll notice that Woven City uses a unique grid system made up of three types of interconnected roads. We're on a road built specifically for autonomous vehicles. But over there, you'll notice a road made for pedestrians as well as people on bikes or scooters. That road over there doubles as a linear park and is only for pedestrians. All three types of roads flow together seamlessly. Traffic congestion is never a problem in Woven City, and the roads elegantly weave through the smart houses and buildings. You'll also notice that there's no pollution in Woven City. The air is crisp and fresh because there are miniature parks around every corner. The roads are lined with shrubs, fruit trees, and cherry blossom trees. In true Japanese fashion, Woven City's technology blends seamlessly with nature. There's one thing that you can't see as we drive through Woven City, the sensors. These sensors collect data that can be used to improve the artificial intelligence and robots in Woven City. Woven City is a living laboratory, so the data that's collected can be used to develop other smart cities around the globe. Governments around the world are expected to spend $41 trillion on smart city infrastructure over the next 20 years, so that information is invaluable. Let's take the e-pallet over to Woven City's Central Plaza. Woven City Central Plaza is more than just a town square. It's a place where the city's residents can shop, socialize, or even attend a concert. The robots that work in Woven City can put together a concert stage in no time, and you'll notice that the Toyota e-pallets parked in the Central Plaza double as miniature retail shops. They can even be used as food stalls during festivals. There are research facilities all over Woven City, including one at the top of that retail shop. We can take a look inside by driving to the top via the roadway that's built directly into the side of the building. This is where engineers and scientists work on new technologies for Woven City. Over there, you'll see an engineer designing new autonomous vehicle tech, which is something that happens on a daily basis in Woven City. Toyota purchased Lyft's autonomous vehicle division for $550 million, and the company is now one of the world's leading AV manufacturers. There is also a robotic team hard at work in this research facility. Over there, you'll see engineers working on a $2.5 million THR3 humanoid robot. The robots roam the city freely, helping residents with daily tasks. That engineer is testing a ceiling-mounted robotic butler. It's a type of gantry robot which was first developed by the Toyota Research Institute following a $1 billion investment. You'll find one of these robots in every Woven City smart home. Speaking of smart homes, let's take a tour of one now. The smart homes in Woven City combine traditional Japanese craftsmanship with eco-friendly technology and robotics. Every smart home is made from carbon-neutral wood and built using the ancient art of Japanese wood joinery. No nails, no hammers, no carpenters either, at least not human ones. Woven City smart homes were built by robots. You'll notice that every smart home is topped with solar photovoltaic panels. These panels power the homes and excess energy can be stored and used in other parts of the city. Let's head inside this smart home for a closer look. Over there, you'll see the home's robotic gantry arm tidying up. The robot butler can also assist residents who have mobility issues. Don't worry about restocking the fridge or taking out the trash. That's all done automatically using sensor-based artificial intelligence. The home's AI can even monitor your health and remind you when it's time to exercise or get some fresh air. Toyota Micro Pallet robots can deliver packages directly to residents. These miniature six-wheeled robots simply enter the home via a mini elevator that's connected to an underground system of tunnels called the MatterNet. Speaking of which, let's follow one of these cute mini robots and take a look at Woven City's underground infrastructure. 
All of Woven City's support facilities are located underground from the hydrogen power system to the storm filtration system. They're all seamlessly integrated with the Matternet transport system that reaches every part of the city. The micro pallet robots are super speedy and can deliver a package in just minutes. So what did you think of Woven City? It may be the most impressive smart city in Japan, but it's not the only one. Did you know that Panasonic built a $740 million smart city? That's it folks, thanks for watching.